And I'm going to show him the Brazilian? I mean, come on. Okay, then take your robe off and lay down. Take my robe off and lay down. <laughs> Sorry. This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV, and today we're at Touch Salon in Las Vegas, Nevada, where it's Ladies' Day, and we're getting our eyebrows waxed. We're with Cynthia, Kim Couture, and Karina Teller. Is everyone excited to be at the salon today? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Kim, I know you're really busy, so we agreed to meet you here at the salon where you're getting your eyebrows waxed. Tell us what's going on with you these days. Uh, well, I'm just trying to work on all the businesses. It's the not-so-fun part with all the trademarking and all the lawyers and all that good stuff, but uh, just working hard every day trying to take all these meetings and get things rolling. I've seen a lot online about the Vixen crew. Can you tell us a little bit about that project? Well, I've got uh, eight girls that uh, happen to be all single moms, and they're beautiful, and they've been fighting for much longer than I have. Um, some of them seven to probably 11 years, um, and they're all younger than me, so how does that work? But uh, <laughs> anyway, I've got them all together. Um, it's good to have good girls to train with. Um, and just get them together in a good environment, help them get fights, manage them, corner them, whatever they need. Where are you training these days and when can we see you back in the cage? Uh, I'm going back and forth between Tap Out still and Vanderlei's and uh, I'm looking at an October 9th fight in China right now. Do you ever worry about that? You know, your face getting, you know, messed up when you're fighting? I've had the worst things happen to my face already. We're here at a salon, so the term fuzz may apply to something else, but you used to be a fuzz, a police officer in Colorado. Have you, were you able to take any of your police training into your MMA career? Um, I think mostly for the management side of things, you know, kind of, you know, decompressing situations and um, more of the mental aspect than anything. You know, obviously things were physical back then, but it was, I was more on the level of, uh, you know, de-escalating the situations and just being smart. So I, I apply that more to business than I do as far as like the aggressive side of things. Is there anyone you want to thank? Um, you know, definitely all my girls and my coaches. Um, it's been a blessing to have all of them in my life and uh, we've got a good thing going on right now so I hope that it lasts. And uh, definitely Vanderly Sylvan and his wife, they've been so supportive and welcoming and even after the fight, you know, first one of the first texts I received was from him. So, you know, that always means a lot, you know. Um, and then, uh, of course, everybody from Tap Out, um, and then my management company, um, Malky and Ricky over there, they, uh, they do a great job. Um, yeah, and that's it. Every, all of my fans for all their support, no matter what happens. Can I be an honorary member of Vixen Crew for getting my eyeballs waxed with you? <laughs> You're in. Mascot. <laughs> you may take that back after I finish up with this. When you were changing into your robe, I'm a journalist, so I am a little bit nosy by nature. So I was going through your purse. And your nickname is Sugar Free, but I found a pack of Sour Skittles and a pack of Sugar Gum in your purse. So are you still going to keep the name Sugar Free? Um, yes, because it actually doesn't stand for that. <laughs> sugar Free is not the case when it comes to candy. <laughs> Go to a happy place. Go to a happy place. Bravo with some relaxation techniques. You're officially uh, part of the Mixing Crew. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Am I bleeding? <laughs> not that much. Ah! I'm not so, so sure I want to be like stranded on an island with you because people. Oh God! It's raining. <laughs> oh no! We're out of food. <laughs> At least you would be able to survive because you can eat me first on the list. <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel, feel sexy again after the Brazilian wax. Oh God! Oh, didn't, didn't they tell you? What is a Brazilian wax? <laughs> I, just... I got your back right here. Don't worry. Just trust me. <laughs> I swear, oh, you were the weakest so possible like person. Just, I've never heard someone scream so much. You're a Ken doll now. I don't know how I'm gonna... Aw, you're a Ken doll. 